Uh, good morning to so all of you that are uh, gathered here today. My name is uh, Joseph Chashiba. I will be your director of programs for this event. Um, I'd like to start us off with an opening prayer, Ms. Metu, if you could lead us with an opening prayer. May I request everyone to stand for the prayer? Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord, for the day that you've given us today. Thank you that we're able to be gathered in this manner. And thank you that you're here with us for your words and where two or three are gathered, you are there in your midst. We thank you, Father, for law. We thank you that you are the original lawyer. We thank you that our law is based off the Ten Commandments which you gave to Moses. We thank you, Father, that we evolved to pass those laws, but our law is too based on the foundations of that which you gave Moses. So now, Lord, even as we begin this program, we ask that you may be with us and minister to us individually. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thanks given in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Please still remain standing. May I have a phone, David, and one of to lead us into the national anthem. David and one of them. Thank 
Above us, you can see us as we are seated here on the lower level of uh, the classroom. And so uh, I'll say good morning to you. Allow me to write on the protocols observed by our distinguished master of ceremony in his opening remarks. As matron, I must say it's a privilege to welcome each one of you uh, to the official launch of MULA. Uh, this association indeed has been a product of the ideas and the efforts of past and present students propelled by desire to create a community of trainee lawyers that are equipped to make a difference in the community that they belong to. How does the association intend to do this? 
uh, you may ask. A quick perusal of the association's constitution will reveal a number of possible avenues. Firstly, the intention to contribute to the body of legal knowledge. This is currently being pursued through the development of an online newsletter which will endeavor to discuss contemporary legal issues. It is hoped that our newsletter will evolve into a student law journal with time. The production of our newsletter is under the oversight of three editorial board members from among our own student body. We are eager to recruit more students to be part of this editorial team and also to contribute articles to this newsletter. So you are welcome to do so. The association also intends to meet the legal needs of the people in our surrounding community. As you might be aware, we actually live in the Kapiri district. This is our location. And so we hope that we might be able to create a law clinic or a legal aid clinic at which students will be able to give legal advice to members of the public under the supervision of qualified lawyers. I know uh, those present with us are first year students. They may not be familiar with the staffing in the School of Business, but I must say that the School of Business boasts of not less than 10 competent staff members with varied experience at the bar, in some cases as legal practitioners, as academicians with legal expertise in many fields. At the bench, uh, you might have met Honorable Bosa by this time uh, with 40 years experience as, 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 as a magistrate. And in other portfolios requiring legal skills and expertise. And so we're looking forward to creating that law clinic with your help and participation. Lastly, the law uh, the, our law association intends to encourage the development of written and oral skills through competitive moot court sessions within the institution and with other institutions. One such session was held last semester during the formative stages of the association by the second year students. So I do take uh, constitutional law, and it's a class that comprises public admin students as well as law students. And so we had one more session. So I could say many more things about what the association hopes to do, but time does not allow me to do so. However, I hope that my few words are an encouragement to each one of us to be active members of this association rather than passive members. Without active participation, none of these objectives can be met. The association membership is open to all those students by virtue of your enrollment under the Bachelor of Laws program. Uh, of course, our association president will say a little more about those issues. But uh, if you want to get any further information regarding our association, its objectives and what it does, you are free to visit our website as well as our Facebook page. Also, I would be failing in my uh, responsibility as matron if I didn't extend thanks to uh, the people who are seated here on our high table, the Dean of Students, the Dean of our school, our HOD, and indeed uh, the members of our association and uh, a number of staff members may not recognize them as staff members who are seated in our midst. Uh, this launch wouldn't have been possible if you had not come to our aid at such short notice. So many thanks to you and may God richly bless you. Thank you. That was the association matron, Mrs. Pamo Sipuka, with our opening remarks. Now, to the audience, I may simply say to you, we are live on Zoom as well. There are those that are unable to join us here in person, but are joining us via the Zoom link that has been shared to different groups. Please do us the honor and favor of resharing that link. Share it to many people as possible, because we would love to have as many viewers as possible. Thank you. Now, at this time, I would like to welcome the association president, a lady I would describe as being passionate about the association, one who is always ensuring that the work is done and pleased to serve under, and I am personally pleased to serve under her executive. Uh, Madam President, it is an honor to welcome you and to please point to the stage as you address those that are gathered. I thank you, Madam President. Good 
Good morning to everyone. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our guest of honor, the Dean of Students, Mr. Siachawa, the acting dean of the School of Business, Dr. Muya, um, the head of the Department of Law, Labor, and Human Resource Management, Mr. Kasonde, um, the merchant of our association, Mrs. Simpukwe, as well as the members of staff that are present here, the executive of the Law Association, our editor in chief, Metro Kuya, as well as the ministers of the union of the school, and all of you welcome to our lunch. So um, I'm going to speak more about the reason why we decided to come together and form this association. We wanted to create um, a platform and a group for law students to come together, share ideas, and get better and get more experience at what we are hoping to do in the future as we endeavor to be lawyers. Most of the times, our knowledge normally ends in the classroom, in our assignments, and in our tests. But we wanted to create a space where we're able to do more and able to give out to our community, like our matron had explained. We look forward to creating a legal aid clinic. We look forward to starting our own legal and law journal. We look forward to starting mentorship programs. Of course, our mentorship program does not just end on us being mentored, but also for us to mentor people who would like to come into the school and be lawyers and explain more to them about what law is about and also explain about how a good school we're at. So those are some of the reasons why we created this association. Many other schools have associations, but we didn't have one. And it was a long time coming. So many other people tried. And we finally got in here and we managed to form this association. And we are extremely grateful to have the guidance from Mrs. Ipupe because without her being available to us, I don't think we would have come this far. Also, um, I would also like to inform you that we are affiliated to the Mulubushi University Student Union, as well as the Student Law Association of Zambia. So um, by virtue of that, that just shows that our school is a member of the Student Law Association of Zambia, and all of you are affiliated to it. So um, apart from that, um, we also, like you to invite your friends to come. As long as you are a law student, you are part of the association, but we have a fee that we charge so that we help the association run because every organization needs financial help. So our subscriptions are only 50 quarter per semester. And as long as you're a paid up member, you'll be able to stand for positions in the executive. When you read our constitution further, you're going to notice that it gives um, it gives you what's required for you to start for position of president, for position of secretary, vice secretary, president, all those things. So that's what our association is about. And I'm really looking forward to working with many of you, all of you if possible, as we take our association further. And yes, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Ms. Mwila, for that uh, uh, wonderful speech that you have given us. Um, are we ready for the video? Okay, so the association did prepare a short video showing the journey of what it's been like to create an association. The presentation will be done by the publicity secretary of the association, uh, Mr. Danny Fadin, who I think should be ready any minute now, any time. Okay. Uh, please do enjoy this presentation that has been put together by the association. Thank you. My name is Ms. Rachel Jaku, I just thank you for the entire report and I have the law association. 
I came to the college in Italy and I tried to put my position in the university in the last year, which I did to put in. I kind of wanted a position on the
time, I would like to call upon um, the man that we fondly like to refer to as um, the founding father of law here at this institution. He is the head of department, law, labor, and human resource management, Mr. Pasonde. I call upon you, sir. I don't know if you allow me to talk while seated or you want me to stand now that he has provoked my thinking. <laughs> I, I, I never knew that new students know where we've come from, setting up this uh, program from nowhere to where we are and watching the video and how you become so uh, creative and organized and uh, showing that uh, now we have a product which can represent innovation best in the best way possible. I'm very proud and humble. Uh, Dr. Siachara, the dean of students, uh, the acting dean of the School of Business Studies, uh, Dr. Muya, the matron, and my uh, good colleague under the Department of Law, Labor, and Human Resource Management, Madam Simfukwe. And also the Master of Ceremony, I didn't get your name, um, but uh, I don't know whether it's uh, deliberate that you didn't want to disclose your name, despite doing a fantastic job. And the Executive Committee of the Mulungush um, University Law Association, uh, all the students from first year to fourth year, present and past, and your efforts uh, expended into this. I remember at some point uh, three years ago, I had an opportunity to peruse part of what is now a product of your association, the constitution. And uh, at some point, uh, I think it appeared that the spirit was uh, dying until when I had an opportunity to talk to Madam Sifka to say, I know you, you can do it, uh, pursue it beyond this together with you. I'm happy that uh, I could be part of today's launch. This is a special day. And uh, um, I'm humbled as the founding uh, head of department uh, and where the law is sitting. And what you've done, uh, stimulates my thinking to go to the acting dean to say, I think we need to be wind off. We are now ready to be on our own. Uh, as, as a school, because I've seen already, even in your constitution, you are referring to this program as a school of law, uh, showing that uh, you have already developed that propensity to be on your own, and your wish will be granted very soon. Allow me also to say that the program, the law program, is expanding very fast. And in addition to what we, we have as the members of staff providing a service to make sure that the law program continues. We have also developed master's program um, beyond the LLB. And also we have professors who are now teaching on this program. Uh, Professor Ivan Skalula is a Zambian. Uh, he was one of the first shoots to graduate at UNSA in 1972, somewhere there and is domiciled in South Africa, uh, University of Cape Town, and one of the celebrated legal brands, uh, Zambia, and Africa has produced, but he's a Zambian, but he is in South Africa. He's also currently the, the chairperson of the Committee of Experts on Freedom of Association the whole world under ILO framework. Uh, uh, further recognition that uh, Zambia is producing something and it will be considered for that uh, high-level position. Uh, it's, it's something worth to appreciate. And we have also Professor Ivis Jorens from Ghent University in Belgium, who is also my uh, supervisor uh, for my PhD. Uh, he's also uh, part of 
the faculty staff teaching under uh, our Department of Law, Labor and Human Resource Management, and the several other advocates and also those Madam Sinfuka has, has mentioned. So you can see that we are almost full-fledged to manage our own affairs and it's because of your support and your resilience and also what we can do together. And I'm, I'm very proud of you. Uh, Madam Sinfuka, uh, you need serious commendation for, for this, uh, to come to this far, together with the executive committee Amuila um, and the, and the, the, the entire executive, we are very happy. And make sure that you make yourselves more visible, you continue engaging. And one of the important objectives in, and I was perusing is that you want to use the law uh, to save society for which it has been created, to touch the lives of the banana. And the, when I am talking to uh, Judge uh, Derek Mulenga of the High Court, he always tells me that school uh, calls me school because he mentored me. I was uh, uh, part of the law firm which he created now as a judge. He says a lawyer is uh, a special person who occupies the position which Jesus Christ occupied. And I'm happy that he. Um, our fantastic ambassador. Uh, and I like a, a law student who traces law from history. Very important. And the way she coined it is fantastic. If I was to assess you, I'll give you 98%. <laughs> so, lawyer is likened to the position which was occupied by Jesus Christ, came for the vulnerable language to make sure that society is ordered. And thank you so much for reminding me that history, which I went in first year, part of second year. When I was doing my, first I started with the University of Port Elizabeth in South Africa, and they put high premium on historical part of the legal history before you start now learning the legal principles of law. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for all of us who have come here and the executive who have all the support, the support staff from ICT and those others. Uh, Dr. Siachama, thank you for being available, the dean and the others. And I just want to ask for one consideration. Now that you are saying I'm the founder, <laughs> to Madam uh, Simfu, that when you meet in your own, I'm not, too, I'm not coercing you find somewhere where you can amend the constitution to make me as life honorary member of the Mungu. <laughs> uh, thank you very much and may God bless you. I think we can do better than that, definitely. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Asande, for that uh, inspiration speech, I must say. Thank you. Uh, at this moment in time, I'd like to call upon the acting dean School of Business Studies, uh, Dr. Moya. Doctor, the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay. No, cl no clapping for me. <laughs> uh, may I say, uh, guests of honor? and uh, student representatives. And let's simply say all protocols observed. Uh, good morning. This is a very important event and it's a, a stride in the right direction, showing us that we are coming to a realization that we live in a society where success does not go to zealots or people who are violent but it's something that is based on our skill, our intellect, our ability to communicate. And we look forward to a day that we are going to hear of this association being renowned worldwide. And I believe we can do it. It doesn't have to be something that you do after you, you start practicing law. You can start right here. And uh, I won't waste much time. I think much has already been said indicating that as a school, 
we are really glad that this has come to fruition. What do we say for ourselves? What do we say? Congratulations. Congratulations. What do we say for ourselves? Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Mwea, we are using uh, premium Zoom. We could be here from we could be here from now until tomorrow. <laughs> no disruption. Free. Premium. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. We are honored. Thank you so much. Time, I would uh, once again invite uh, Danny Bajin, the Association Publicity Secretary, who has uh, a short presentation. He will obviously be joining us shortly. Uh, Danny, the floor is yours. Thank you. My name is Janish Rebadi. I'm the Commission and Publicity Secretary. Uh, allow me to try to answer the questions that are going to be raised by the President from the Master of Ceremony. I'll quickly today in the presentation of the Monimushi University Law Association website. So the website is available and the URL is monimushilaw.webly.com. Uh, if you can touch it on your phone so that you can view it if possible. So, I'm going to explain the pages we have on the website. So, right now, if you type on the URL above, uh, 
uh, is directed to this home page here with our beautiful library designed there. And uh, the wishy page plus a social thing. Um, we have our social media uh, links also available here. Then we have what they call the slogan Chat box, chat judicial, meaning let this the means justice be done. They also have a welcome note uh, by our president, Ms. Nina Joy Mbana. We have latest news, so you'll be able to access the latest memo which has been shared by the association as well as uh, the best technician. Yes. Um, we also have, right now, you can also view our social media posts through the Mulumushi Business Law Association website, which is so this was our recent post on Facebook, can be accessed directly through the website. And also our tweets on Twitter can also be accessed on the website. So let me go to the next page, which is articles. So the purpose of this page is, but uh, well this page is meant for the editorial board. They'll be posting all the articles that were submitted by all the lost and other partners. Uh, right now, we don't have any, but we expect from something there very soon. Now, our executive members page this is where you find uh, pictures and the, the names of the current executive team of the association. So, right now, this is your executive team. Now, the president and all other members of the executive team. Present. We also have a picture of the first one for members. This played a role in the drafting of the constitution and other things with the commission. Uh, we have the paid down members page, where, which is the list of all paid down members. Uh, the association. So I encourage everybody to pay up so that your name is put among other things too. Uh, uh, we have another page for the resources. Uh, this resources page is where you're going to download our position from in case you lose it. Uh, the draft code of conduct is also there. So once it's approved, it's going to be the code of conduct. So you can download it there as well. Uh, in future, we intend on having a uh, fast law exam papers that we are educated by the university to do that. To be able to download them from there. Then on the same resources page, we have a sub page called more library. Uh, this is also dedicated to the editorial board. This is where we are going to um, upload the journal or the newsletter once it's been worked on and published. So right now we just have the position, position here. We have our editor chief, Ms. Merito Mundu, and uh, the senior associate editor, uh, Winga Akunda. Then the other page is the events page. So the events page is where we're going to post some pictures of the most important competition, uh, we can check the, um, the events which we have planned for the semester through this same page called the events page. So, right now, this event is on the Mission Association launch, and as you can see, it's really stayed there. Then, I'll proceed to the next one the about page. So, the about page. Basically, has uh, the information about the Mushroom Medicine Law Association. We have the mission statement, uh, vision statement there, our objectives, and the message from the macro, which will be for the two. We also have our affiliations. As you know, we are under the Mushroom Medicine, and that's the main, the, our mother, our mother, what is the institution. Then we also affiliated to Mushroom Medicine Students Union. They have no issue. And also the Student Law Association of Zambia. 
I will proceed to the next page, which is partners. So, uh, as an association, uh, we have the intention of partnering up with corporate companies and companies in order to get internships and among other things. So, once we're in, partner, in partnership with them, we'll be able to publish their articles here, then for corporate companies, which do have like some services they offer, we'll be able to show them. On the, on the same website. Then we have the alumina. Um, once, uh, once, obviously, once our president and the fourth year law students graduate and become part of the alumina, and we can do in there whether to keep the legacy. Yeah. Then we proceed with uh, contact us page. This page basically has all the contact information you need. In case you have questions about the association, the issues you want to present to the president, you can get the contact line through our website, which is there. We also have the phone number of the Secretary General, which is also there, as well as the information and the Secretary myself, which is here. You can also send a message through the same website without need of within your, uh, I, I, I can see SMSs, just put your name, your email, and comment, and we'll see it then respond to you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Danny, for that amazing presentation. I must say, it's impressive to see what the association is doing so far. We are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on Telegram, and we have a website that is quite amazing and quite remarkable. I must say, Danny, you have done an amazing job. Thank you very much. May we... uh, all right. Um, I think I would invite the association matron to have the honor of calling upon the guest of honor to address this gathering. Uh, Mrs. Superbaker, good madam. Thank you very much. It is my single honor to invite our guest of honor, the Dean of Students, Dr. Kiyakawa, to address us on this special occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this launch today. Uh, may I recognize the presence of the acting dean in the School of Business. Dr. Mia. I also want to recognize uh, the presence of uh, the head of department, Law. Uh, it's Law and the Labor, Labor, Labor and the yes. Human Resource Management. And I want to recognize the presence of uh, the matron, uh, Mrs. Mufuque. We are grateful to be here. Uh, I also want to recognize the presence of the president who in the initial stages I worked with and uh, sometimes uh, they were getting frustrated because said, uh, not like this, it should be like this. Yeah, so I'm happy that we have reached this stage. I thank you with your executive. Um, I also want to thank the director of programs uh, for the way he's conducting business. He's very professional, so we are grateful for that. Yeah, um, I'm here representing University Management uh, to be part of this launch. Uh, University Management attaches very, uh, an important uh, aspect in the formation of associations and clubs. The reason why it does attach that importance, that is why it is in our operational plan, University Operational Plan that uh, schools, uh, students should be able to form clubs or associations. The reason why we attach this importance to this kind of situation is that these clubs and associations are a forum where students will be able to interact, share knowledge, and encourage each other in many forms uh, as they do their programs in the university. Within these associations, you begin to develop, develop leaders 
within these associations will begin to develop uh, people that will stand out in society because they have learned how to mix with others and interact at that level. That is why it is very important. And in my experience in Mulungushi University, you are the first people to organize a launch like this. This is the first association. We have never had this kind of situation except once, uh, but it was a very small one. But it, it was real indeed. At this level, you are the only association, Madam President. Congratulations. Thank you. For that. Now, um, this association has been formed with a view that it helps the students interact and organize themselves properly. You understand? And for this association to succeed, my dear friends, it requires your participation as a general membership. The president and her executive cannot succeed without your participation. The publicity secretary was talking about articles that you need to write uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on your website. That website will remain dormant if you don't participate. So I want to encourage each and every one of you to take that opportunity to participate fully, learn how to write articles. So that when you do your master's, it will be, you will have already been experienced to do these things. You understand that? Yeah, you have a platform now to do that, in my view. I think we are very happy as management that these things are happening in your school. And we want to encourage that many more associations are formed in the, in the school so that students have a platform where they can participate. So my message to you is that be active in this association so that at the end of the day, it will succeed and save you well. Uh, Madam President, you are a pioneer. And uh, being a pioneer, there are a lot of challenges. And I know you have gone through already some of the challenges to come to this level. Uh, you have to lay a good foundation to, for others that are coming. And it is you, if you succeed in laying that foundation, everyone else will succeed. So we, you have a big challenge. And we, but it, you, you have already done it to a certain level and continue to the other levels so that these people can benefit. And many more students who come to Mungush University will benefit from this association. I'm glad that you are targeting even the community around, which is very good, uh, which is the community service. And we are very happy that you are targeting the communities so that they begin to benefit from your existence as an association. Uh, Dean, I'm very grateful for inviting me to be part of this. It's a humbling, and uh, I am really humbled to be here. And I don't want to bore you with a lot of things. Many things have already been said uh, by other speakers who have spoken before me. So, Madam President, thank you so much. And we wish you well and all the success, even as you continue to go in this direction. Uh, uh, it is now my rare privilege and honor to declare this law, Mungushi Law Association, uh, officially launched. Say, uh, Dean, thank you so much for coming and thank you very much for that wonderful and amazing speech that you have given us. Um, we would also like you to officially um, launch this association by unveiling the banner, of course, the matron will present it to you. May I also invite the head of the department and the acting dean to participate in unveiling of this banner? So we are in time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was saying you are different. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Uh, I call upon the president and vice president to present the constitution and code of conduct to the head of the department, the dean, and the acting dean. Thank you. <laughs> they are presenting the constitution and the code of conduct of the association. Thank you very much. The guest of honor, uh, Dean of Students, Dr. Siachaba, the Acting Dean's School of Business Studies, Dr. Muya, the Head of Department, Law, Labor and Human Resource Management, Mr. Kasonde, the matron of the association, Mrs. Simpukwe, the president of the law association, Mwila Joy Mbana, all executive members present, the minister of justice, Mudungushi University Students Union, Mr. Joe Kantu, the minister of trade and commerce, the right honorable Chao Nyerenda, the editor in chief of the editorial board, Mudungushi University Edit uh, Legal Journal, members of staff present, ladies and gentlemen. To start with guest of honor, the voices you heard in the video are not ours. <laughs> <laughs> the publicity secretary might be cited for misconduct <laughs> hereafter. Allow me to thank you, guest of honor, for sparing time of your busy schedule to grace this occasion. We are delighted by your presence, and for us as an executive, and then as, a, as an association, it is an assurance that we have the support of management. And with the support of management and the entire institution, we are determined to, to do a lot of things, to do exploits, as well as to make this university a university of choice for would-be law students because of our activities. Guest of honor, I would love to thank the HOD, the dean, and the HOD for helping us in arranging everything for today and guiding us um, throughout our journey. And most especially to the HOD, we are happy that uh, the first ever law association has been established during your tenure as HOD. Now you have uh, two achievements, <laughs> establishing the law program as well as overlooking, overseeing the establishment of the law association. Thank you. I'd love to say, to express our gratitude as an executive to Mrs. Simpukwe, our matron. She has been wonderful and awesome. Without prejudice, guest of honor, I would say we could never have a better matron than her. Also wish to express my gratitude on behalf of the executive and the president to all students who spare their time for to, to, of, of their busy schedule. I'm sure they were supposed to attend class, but they've come to attend the launch. It is for a noble cause because you are in a noble career. So don't despair. Guest of honor, I would be failing as a person to acknowledge God Almighty because the journey hasn't been easy, but he has strengthened us and uh, he has guided us that we see this launch to, to happen. And I'm sure the step we've taken is just the beginning and the journey is long. We are hopeful that God will be with us as well as we'll have your support as management. 
Guests of honor, I'd also like to thank the viewers joining us via Zoom. I'm sure some third year law students are expecting a test by, from Mr. Kasonde. But due to the momentous occasion, I would love to implore Mr. Kasonde <laughs> to reconsider. <laughs> To the other members, I would just encourage you to be part of the association, to join us, because without you, we cannot do anything. We need you, we need your support. Guests of honor, with these few words, I thank you. The association vice president, Tanya Chamaneka, thank you very much. We have um, officially come to the end of uh, this program. I must thank everyone that has uh, taken time to come and be a part of this occasion. I'd like to send a special thank you to the IT department that has made all of this possible. We thank you so for always being there for us and supervising that such events that are being broadcasted are done so in an excellent manner. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank once again the Dean of Students for taking time to be here with us and launch this for us. So I kind of want to have him. Um, I'd like to call upon Akalamu Leva to give us a closing prayer. As uh, after the closing prayer, may I please ask everyone to stand as the high table makes it, makes its way out for an official photograph uh, that has been arranged for my thing. That the front side. So just after the prayer, please <coughs> remain standing as the high temple pops out. Uh, Miss Nakalamu. Uh, before our lady there gives the prayer, I did make an undertaking on your behalf as a first year student that you are going to do the group work which Mr. Manchinshi gave you to do. And so I'll be very in that obligation if I don't say to you that uh, after this event, that being the responsible students that you are, you are actually going to sit and do that uh, group work so that I am not blamed for whatever happens here after. We are members of a noble profession and therefore we are people who work hard and keep our words. So I look forward to hearing a good report from him about you doing what you undertook to do today. So I just thought I should say that. Uh, otherwise, we're very grateful that you took this time off to be with us and we look forward to your participation even amidst this uh, COVID uh, situation. Even to our colleagues at home, I'm very encouraged. I was receiving messages uh, from you and uh, you know about this uh, launch. And I'm glad you joined us. I can see, I think, about 50 something uh, students who are watching us from home. So, also to you, we are very grateful and we look forward to your participation. So, I just thought I should say that before we depart from one another, but let's be available for the photo so that there is evidence that you were here and not elsewhere. Thank you very much. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Almighty God is Lord in the most high, we come before your holy throne of grace. We glorify your name and we exalt you for this man like you. We thank you, Almighty Father, that you enabled us to meet in this manner. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us this far because we know, God, that it is not about, about our might, or our intelligence, oh God, or our own understanding, oh God. But because you are there with us when we started and that you are still here with us, O oh God. Even as we take on this journey, Almighty Father, we ask that your grace and love may be with us, O oh God. Grant us with your confidence and perseverance, O oh God, because we know that we have not come this far only to come this far, Almighty Father. We ask that even as we take this step, O oh God, you alone may take each and every step before us, O oh God, showing us the way in Jesus' name, O oh God. We glorify your name and praise you because we know that we are destined for greatness, O oh God, and that we know that you alone know the plans you have for us, O oh God, and those are plans to prosper us in Jesus' name. We glorify your name and we praise you now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Okay. Yes.